Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to Millionaire Gaming. So today we're playing Skate It for the Wii. Almost said Tony Hawk for some odd reason. This is nowhere near a Tony Hawk game. But yes, I am playing Skate It for the Wii. This video, we were doing just basically just challenges. Like, just typical, you know, Tony Hawk, uh, just like skating. That's pretty much it. Like, all I know is... Uh, we got our we got our sponsorships. We got our shoe sponsorship, and then we actually got uh, what the hell? Okay then, but yeah, we actually got our we got our sponsorships, and we basically got our coverage. So then we got the Thrasher photo, and now we are going on to doing more Thrasher stuff. We unlocked the DIY. Now I think we're actually heading there because fuck it, let's do walkway and then we can go there. It says we need 1500 points and five grinds. So let's see how difficult this will be because I know somewhat these kind of challenges are kind of repetitive and very annoying because sometimes they'll be like. And then sometimes they'll get like really just difficult, like they'll make you fall like that shit. Alright, I see, I see. Cool. Alright, now that we finished the area. I think we're going to, like as I said, we gotta go to the DIY place. Alright, so this is the DIY part. Looks kind of decent, actually. Just games that they have for Lake, where they did it. So this one's called Around the Block. Yo. Fuck it, let's see what we've got. Alright, camera's rolling. Your clock is ticking, finish up. I don't think this is possible because physically it just seems like it's gonna get really repetitive. Cause how the fuck did I already lose that? Like, they didn't even give me a chance. On this one, you gotta do as many tricks as you can to get more time. Oh good. Eh, fuck Solid. it. I don't need to do anything in the DIY park anyway. If it's just gonna be one fucking stupid race, then I don't need that shit. So let's go to tree school. See what we need to do in Sand Van's school district. And here we are at the school, the first level of the game, and one of the coolest spots to, uh... Wait, how it, like, looks? I wish it wasn't, like, orange. Alright, so it needs... We need to grind the beam... ...and get 800 points. Alright, that doesn't seem too hard. Yo, dream... 
Aight. Yo, clock's ticking. Let's finish up. Two to go. See your last trick, quick. Hey, watch your time. Yo, we ran out of time. You gotta try that again. So it says we gotta grind the beam, which, okay, which isn't too hard. Almost out of time. Damn it. That's what caused me to fuck up there. Damn. We are gonna roll. Yeah. Get so many points. Oh, fuck. Hey, time is running out. Come on, one more try. Okay, we started. Go. Come on, come on, come on. You're almost out of time. You're gonna get it. You only got a few seconds left to finish this up. Finish it up. Yo, let's check it. No, 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 I don't want to reset. No, I don't want to. God. Yo, that was a keeper for sure. Jeez, that was not that much stuff that we had to do. All right, next challenge. We have to go to... Eh, it's just in... Uh, I'm feeling the community center. Let's see what's there, because we haven't been there in a good amount of time. I feel like we haven't been there in, like videos no more than that like more like four videos holy shit here we are at the community center and we are going with reunited let's see what we have to do here grind two pieces of curb in a sequence and get 400 points all right, doesn't seem too too difficult. You're probably wondering what made me actually like get inspired to do this like game. I feel like I have to say kind of it's between night speeds, uh, Calplex, and I have to say Rad Rat. Even though I'm not really too big on them, I don't really like I'm not an avid watcher of them, but I do watch some of their contents. And, uh, I mean, their content's decent. It's not bad. I mean, it's better than mine. But I do, like, enjoy watching their stuff from time to time. Specifically on the Rad Rats parts, I actually enjoy uh, when he does his, uh, his reviews of the Tony Hawk games. Specifically that. And then, that's pretty much it. And then anything else, I really couldn't care. Yeah, so, alright, that's, that skated part. Continue on, let's go, let's go, we got the cover. Are you kidding me? It says we had the coverage, are you kidding? Ah, oh, you fucking assholes. Why would they do this to me? Alright, let's see what we have to do in the Matrix Plaza. I'll be honest, that challenge is kind of kind of tricky, especially the part where I had to do the the yeah, lipping the over the sure. thing. There we go, new location and new challenges. 
So let's see what those challenges and location is, because let's see. Hey, it's Lucas. I've seen the treasure. Wow, that's amazing, man. I got it. Yo, congrats, dude. Going pro. Frisco Freakout. Oh shit, I forgot about that Frisco Freakout thing. So apparently that's in the world map. And then there's it. it there it is. The San Francisco. Fuck, I forgot this. We're heading to San Francisco, guys. We're talking Mega Mega and a Mini Mega over four ice cream trucks. Huh. You got a street course, vert ramps, and everything in between. You know what's funny? I actually never beat the Frisco Freakout on my, uh, on the island. And every time I tried to do it, they basically, they made me fuck up. It, like, and I could not play further on. It was really weird and I, I couldn't, like, play it. Able to. And it had the DS version was pretty good. I mean, I had it for the DS for a short amount of time. Well, it's really cool. I wish I never. I wish I got to meet who it was, but I never really actually. Got it. This uh, on the iOS version, it never worked. Like every time I tried to do a certain. And then I would have to do, I would go back to the area, choose the mission, and then they would say, oh, I already beat it. Basically, I had to do it by myself. So I was kind of annoyed about it. never actually had to do that, like, a difficult challenge from either the San Francisco area. That was kind of annoying me. Like, I, I really wanted to do it and... If I feel like if I did it right now, it wouldn't work. The app wouldn't work at all. It's freeze, and that would suck. Let's see who's up on top of our leaderboard. Oh, So I never really got to like do too much difficult challenges. I guess you can But I do say uh, the DS version is not too bad. Besides the bailing physics, that's kind of like uh, how Jack has the video game for the DS is actually better than the one for the. And I beat the uh, the one for the PlayStation 2 in two days. No, actually one. And then freaking the, the uh, DS one took me a good amount of time because I still got to do so. I got to do like jumping on trampolines and all that stuff. I wish I actually had a DS capture card just so I could show you guys that game. That was that's actually pretty good stuff for what it is. Woo! 
Keep it coming. Just looks like the leader's standing up. Yeah, one, two, three. So, yeah, and you know what's actually funny? I still have my Elgato from when I piece of hardware, and some people were like, "Oh, my Elgato broke after a few years." But graduated. It's been three years. It still works. Like, I mean. Too big. I know sometimes it does have a harder time playing on the old console. The PlayStation 2 will like act like it's nothing, and then process. I guess that's why I'm kind of getting that new PC. Like, besides that, and then I just want something faster. And if you are curious of what color my Wii Remote is, I Back Nunchuck. Kind of interesting, because I actually have, like, a white Wii Remote, but... Because it's broke. Alright, that was actually kind of cool, and it doesn't help that there's nobody else on here, so it seems like it's really easy. And also I found out, if you guys actually have a, uh, if you have the skate it, uh, like if you use any of the skated decks, you'll have a graphic on your uh, grip tape. Which is kind of cool, because, you know, they don't really do that on these type of games. But, uh, it's kind of cool. I like the colored grip tape stuff on, like, Skate 3. That shit's really cool. You know, I don't really like talking about, like, movies like movies and stuff. I like horror movies. I don't know why. It's... Horror movies are good. Like, I always enjoy a good horror movie. And I do kind of enjoy sushi. Sushi's pretty good. Sometimes it's... Like, it depends on what kind it is, to be honest. If it's like, some shitty type, I don't really care for it. Like, if it's, if it's like the raw fish stuff, no, I will not eat that. But I'll, I'll eat it sometimes. I also enjoy, uh, some tofu. Even though I, you're not supposed to eat it too much, but I still eat it sometimes. I think my, like, the specific one that I really like is, uh... The one that has uh, chipotle. That one's really good. Look at this monster of a big air. Woo, here we go, next round. Coming in hot, what has he got? Alright, I'm gonna be honest, this part I might have to skip because it's very tedious. This part, it's very tedious. 
so it might take a little bit, so bear with me because this shit's very annoying. As I told you guys, this mission is very tedious, and I think I'm going to cut it off here. I think I'm going to do it off camera, so I can at least get it for you guys, so I can do it for the next video. So, thank you guys for watching. Please like, rate, subscribe, dislike if you don't like the Frisco Freakout. I'm the shit. You've been watching Millionaire Gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.